Chronoke HQ and today's video is going to be very short. We we'll just want to show you uh, and explain to you our VCar generator plugin, which you can get in the Bubble plugin store. So if you don't know what a VCard is, just let me just explain that to you. So a VCard is a specific structure that kind of um, encompasses contact information. And it's a structure which can be opened by various uh, computers by your mobile phone whether it's Android or uh, uh, your iPhone so vCard is a file type basically which when opened kind of allows you to Im import a whole contact into your phone so this is really relevant for some um, yeah for different kinds of applications if um, you want to download a vCard of some way to just quickly add their info to your contact list uh, send vCard information and so on and so forth so it's uh, like a data structure data type basically allowing you to uh, exchange contact information which is basically generally recognized by all kinds of devices so and we just want to show you in this quick video how to use our plugin to generate vcard files within bubble so first of all you will need our plugin uh, which is called vcard generator you can just install that um, okay once it's installed you can see the plugin here and you can see the plugin content. So you have three basically, or access to three things, the element, which is called vCard generator, the action, which is generate a vCard, and the event, a vCard has been generated, okay? So let's take a look at that. So what you will need is that we're on a page right now, I just have this text here. You will have to search for the vCard generator element and just drag down to the page. This is a super small, non-visible um, element, so you can just drag it anywhere you want, um, just don't make it non-visible because it won't work then, but just drag it anywhere. It won't be visible um, for the user. And now you will have access to the action and the event. So for example, let's add a button here. And this button should say generate vCard. Okay. And when this button is pressed, we can start at a workflow and we can say, all right, element actions, vCard generator. I want to generate a vCard. And now basically you have the ability to uh, take a look at all of the different um, yeah, things. So you have the possibility to uh, specify a file name. Okay, so obviously a file will be generated and this file will have a name. So let's just call that test. You could also use dynamic data, of course. And then the actual contact information. So I'm going to call it um, Simon, I don't know, test. Okay. You can add a phone number, obviously. So let's, let me just add a phone number. You can add an email. Um, and keep in mind, all of this can be specified dynamically. So if you have like maybe a social network and you have like a profile page and you could say on the profile page, okay, so the current user or current page users email. So you could dynamically generate this, uh, which is quite great. You could add a URL here as well. And also a company. And then you have this, um, this uh, basically this uh, feature which says auto download. So what does this mean? This means that if you check this, the file will automatically be downloaded um, to the current device, wherever it is, so when it is created. Let's just keep that checked. And first of all, let's see what happens. Okay, let's just preview our application here. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and just render our vCar. Let's click that and you can see our test.vcf file was generated, which is our vCard. Let me click on that and I just open my contact app here on uh, my Mac. And you can see the contact was successfully added. Simon test, no .com. We have his uh, phone number, um, his email and his URL. It worked perfectly fine. It automatically recognized and imported into my um, Mac contacts list. So really simple. And you can you see it was auto download and that's already basically it obviously you could define dynamic data as, as specified already um, we won't do that here now just one important thing now is you also have access to the elements event a new v card has been generated so when this v card has been generated this event is triggered and you could obviously do things like show an alert okay so i don't know success alert but you could also do something like make changes to thing and you could say current user uh, whatever and, and do something because you have access to this vCards generator uploaded vCard okay so for example how would that look so let's say you, your user has um, a field called um, vCard okay of type file and you could say all right so when a vCard has been generated I want to uh, uh, update the current user's vCard by specifying this vCard generators uploaded vCard 
okay? And that's basically it. The vCard that has been generated will be saved to the current user's vCard. And then obviously you can always uh, access that vCard by um, specifying current user's vCard. Um, and in this case, you would probably also wanna not auto download that here. So you could remove this button and then um, the file wouldn't be downloaded. So yeah, in this case, it would just be generated. It would be attached to the current user, but it won't be downloaded to the actual device. And that's basically it. Um, um, simple plugin to set up, but quite powerful, allowing you to add the whole vCard functionality to your application. Um, and there might be super many use cases for you to do that. So thank you for watching. I'm going to see you guys for the next tutorial of NoCHQ. Bye.